prevent the hostile robot from reaching our base. Request is robot is online. Disable it. What is going on guys, it's Prodigy here and today I want to make a video for you guys addressing all of the good things that I think are in Black Ops 3 because I know I've made a lot of videos about things that I think are wrong or problems or whatever that are in the game but I do actually really enjoy this game as I've said before I, I even though I think that you know there are some things that need to change overall I still think Black Ops 3 is a good game and it's really fun to play so that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. I'm going to be saying to you guys everything that I think is good in this game. I may forget something, but, you know, this is just a list that I came up with. And, you know, just hopefully you guys enjoy. So, first thing, like I said before, the game is really a lot of fun. There's a lot of different elements to this game. And it's designed in a way and it's presented in a way that it doesn't really get boring too easily. You know, I could be on multiplayer for a pretty extended amount of time. And, you know, just just keep playing, you know, just keep having fun because, you know, this it's just it's a well designed game. So it's easy to enjoy and it's easy to get lost in and lose track of time because you're just having fun playing the game. So that's always an important element in not only Call of Duty, but in any game you play, you always want to be able to have fun despite anything. If you can have fun, then you're doing something right. So and now the, another thing is that the movement system in Black Ops 3, I think is fine how it is now i'm not a huge fan of the 3d vertical movement in call of duty but you know after coming off of advanced warfare and seeing how it is in black ops 3 i would say that it's fine you know it's not too hectic like it was in advanced warfare where everybody's moving at 100 miles an hour non-stop but it's it works you know it's fine you can't go overboard with the boost thrusting and everything like that and you know the sliding mechanic is cool and you know it's it works you know it's still balanced in a way and you know it's not it's it's easy it's it's easier to you know combat somebody in, with the movement system in black ops 3 as opposed to advanced warfare because i mean you could get in a gunfight in advanced warfare and they just boost three times to the left and right and you don't know where they went they're just gone and then you're dead you have no idea what happened because it's just it was just way too fast so I, th I think Black Ops 3 found a nice balance in the movement system to where it works. So, and another thing that I, about the multiplayer that I think is great is that it's a very deep multiplayer, meaning there's a ton of challenges for you to complete. You know, Dark Matter and uh, the Hero Gear for one alone are really, really extensive challenges. You know, there's just a lot of things for you to go for in this game. And for someone like myself, that's really cool because I'm somebody who likes to complete challenges and get them done. You know, get all the all the cool stuff. You know, and the get to level a thousand and all that. I've never really seen that in a Call of Duty game. You get to level a thousand. So it's just just little things like that. I think are really cool. You know, be able to get your dark matter camo and show it off uh, after you win the game with the uh, with the little podium with the first, second, and third place players. And, you know, you can do your little taunts and gestures and stuff. All that stuff is pretty cool. You know, show off your gear, show off your weapons, show off your camos. All that's, all the, I, I like all that kind of stuff, you know. And I also like the fact that each character in the game has its own little story. You know, like the Ripper, um, not the Ripper, Spectre, you know, Firebreak, the Ruin, Outrider. They all have their own little separate backstories to the game which you can actually look into if you play the little audio transmissions or anything like that when you unlock different uh gear for them in the uh, specialist menu so all that's pretty cool and i also like the little pre-game uh dialogue that they have between between characters like you know the seraph or whatever would say something like as the match is counting down to begin and then somebody else will respond 
like uh, the Outrider would be talking to the, the Spectre or something like that. And then even when you kill somebody in the game, depending on who you kill, like um, if you kill an Outrider, your character will say like Outrider down or something like that. If you listen carefully, it's just small things like that I pick on that I pick up on that are, I think are cool because it's like you know the small details and things make things just that much better. So, moving on from that, another good thing about Black Ops 3 is the weapons. You know, all the weapons in the game are, you know, fairly good and fairly balanced for the most part. For the most part, I'm going to throw that in there. There's a That's a huge for the most part. Uh, so, you know, there I wouldn't say that there's any really any bad weapons in Black Ops 3. They're just, like, unusable. So, I think they did a pretty good job on the weapons and the weapon balance in this game. And also, the swimming uh, mechanic in this game and the underwater combat is something that I really think is cool. And it's also something that's been long overdue in a Call of Duty game. Like, come on, you sh it's, it should be common sense. You should be able to swim in a, in a Call of Duty game. It's this super advanced high-tech soldier can run on walls, uh, jump take bullets but he can't swim like come on now <laughs> but uh, i'm glad they finally you know came to their senses and allowed players to be able to swim or and survive in water and so I, I just think that's cool and the underwater combat is really cool you know all the sound effects change and everything it's just it's a it's a fun experience so overall i just think that black ops 3 is a really fun really deep detailed game you know so it's it's a lot of fun like i was saying at the beginning i really enjoy playing it there's so many different things to do like i'm i'm still trying to work on getting my dark matter i've have assault rifles done i have all my smgs done except for the razorback because i don't have it unlocked yet i just prestiged um i have my shotguns halfway done i have the k-arm done and i have the argus done now I'm working on the Breachy and the Haymaker, which are very difficult to get headshots with. Man, so hard. <laughs> and then I have all my snipers done except for the PO6, which is an another difficult gun to use. Man, they had some they had some really <clears throat> they had some really unique ideas for weapons in this game. Like I I have never really seen this many unique weapons. Like for the PO6 is a three round burst charge sniper rifle i i would have never thought of anything like that it sounds like a terrible idea i mean it, it's usable you know i've i've seen people wreck with it but it's just like who who thought of this stuff and it's like people are they they got really creative with the weapons in this game and the 48 dredge another one a six round burst lmg i've never seen a six round burst gun in call of duty ever it's like they really went the extra mile in in this game to bring some really interesting weapons you know um what's another one um the, the pharaoh's another one but i mean we've had burst uh, submachine guns before so i wouldn't say that that's too crazy uh, i remember in advanced warfare the amr9 i believe it was was the five round burst smg which i, I pretty i kind of liked i liked that gun a lot i remember i just really started using it Probably uh, maybe a couple months before Black Ops 3 uh, came out. I think I have some gameplay with it on my channel, actually. You know, I did pretty good. You know, I was a, I was a beast back in the A-Dub days. <laughs> no, nah, I'm, 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 not, I'm not even going to talk about Advanced Warfare. That game kind of scarred me. I'm, I'm actually really nervous for Sledgehammer's next Call of Duty game in what is it 2017 i believe they have so i mean hey i don't know we'll we'll see what they come up with but hopefully it's a good game hopefully they make a couple changes and get rid of weapon variants and work on their movement system because it's just man okay enough about that but that's all the things that i think are good in black ops 3 hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like on the video i would really really appreciate it and that's all for today guys this is prodigy thanks for listening